everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do today's video because I feel like I'm going back to the root of my YouTube channel. I'm going OG Shea Whitney and I'm doing a luxury handbag tag. It's kind of a handbag tag. It's actually a lot of just luxury items, luxury items that I never thought I would buy. This tag was started by the beautiful Jessica. Her name is Chic Professor here on YouTube. I was also tagged by some other amazing ladies in the luxury community. I love the luxury community. If you guys are not aware, there's a whole world out there and that is why I started YouTube in the first place. So thank you to Jerusha Couture, such a good friend. Love her, she tagged me. KW Shops, My Daily Suite, Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover, Tiffany. I'm sorry if I was tagged by somebody else. Maybe that's it, I don't really know. I'm pretty much the last person to do this video. Let's just get started. I have quite a few things lined up right here, mainly handbags, but we've got some shoes. We've got some SLGs, small leather goods, if you don't know what that means. And we've got some other little surprises along the way. So I'm going to start off with the, the, the number one thing that I legitimately never thought I was ever going to buy, ever. It was kind of just like a dream. If you guys have been following me for a while now, you guys will know what it is because this was my holy grail handbag. And yes, my friends, it is my Chanel Jumbo in black caviar leather. I'm not going to spend too much time on these items because a lot of these items you have seen before, but I do have a little backstory on some things. So this is a very expensive item. And a lot of these things are very expensive, but this takes the cake. This comes in at, it's almost 6,000 US dollars right now. I don't even know, Chanel just had a price increase, but this is one of the luxury items out there along with some Hermes pieces, but you can actually make money on this or you can at least not lose your money on this particular bag. Usually people can make money on their Chanel jumbos. It is a classic, back to why I never thought I would buy it. I just thought that this is too much money. I just thought it was way too much money and it was just gonna be something that I would always see from afar and appreciate and love. Oh, and I um, got it pre-loved. So I actually spent 4,000, oh my gosh, it sounds, it sounds like a lot. If you're not into this, I know you guys are having a heart attack right now. I did get a very, very, very good deal on this and it is now over $2,000 more than what I paid for it. So I feel like, it was a good, it was a good investment. It was a good investment. So many of the items that I talk about today might come as no surprise to you, but this, this one might actually surprise you because this is kind of what really started my channel. I mean, this was like the first video I ever talked about and how much I love this. And it's like my favorite, favorite, favorite handbag, but I never thought I was gonna buy it. So it's actually the Louis Vuitton Speedy. And it's funny that I actually have two of them now. And the reason I never thought I would buy it is because I saw this handbag on Facebook by a friend from high school. She like, she did some really big thing and I don't know if she got a promotion, I don't know. Anyway, she posted on Facebook that she got a Louis Vuitton bag and I was like, wow, that's like a big deal. And it was a Speedy and I was like, if I ever got a Louis Vuitton handbag, it would not be a Speedy, it would be a never. Like, I was all into like the totes and just like shoulder bags. I just thought it was very odd to buy a very expensive bag and then only be able to carry it like top handle, which I did, by the way, this is the bandolier version, so it does come with the strap. I've done many videos on this lovely piece of canvas leather bag, but yeah, I never thought I would buy it. And then it turns out that this particular bag by Louis Vuitton is my absolute favorite. This is the size 30, bandolier version. You can't go wrong, best bag. Love it, love it, love it. We're just gonna keep going on with the handbags. I do have other things, but this is another thing I just never thought I would buy because when it first came out, I legitimately thought this was ugly. The Chloe Nile bag. I, Lydia Lee Smillen, she unboxed this and I was like, that is the weirdest freaking bag. I mean, look at it. Like I, I literally looked at it and I was like, that is just weird. Like. Wow. I don't know what clicked in my brain, but I went from literally thinking it was a very hideous, bizarre bag to instantly loving it. And I, like, it's now one of my most favorite bags. And you, it is a crossbody, but it doesn't really hold that much. So if you're looking for a bag to, you know, carry a decent amount, this is not for you. But I just think it's stunning. I love the color. Um, I just love how unique it is. I love how you can kind of like carry it like that and just actually just carry it around. It's just cool. I don't know. I went from hating it to loving it and I just never thought I would buy it. It was actually a Valentine's Day present from Josh, so I technically didn't buy it, but I never thought I would get it. And here we are. It is one of my favorites. Moving on to an SLG, small leather good. Never thought I would pay this much money for a little piece of canvas to hold makeup items in my bag. I love it. 
Uh, it has a lovely red interior. It holds really cool things in my bag and keeps it organized. Never thought I would like this so much and never thought I would buy it. I don't even know how much it runs anymore because I, it's been a while. So this little guy, this is the mini pochette. I don't think I said that yet. This now costs $310. And do I think it's worth it? For me, yes. I don't know why. You could really just go to Walmart. You could go to TJ Maxx, Target, buy a little makeup pouch. It'll do just as good of a job. But there's just something so nice and satisfying about this Louis Vuitton mini pochette. Another bag that I never thought I would buy, but turns out to be is one of my favorites. I feel like there's a trend. I feel like I'll never get something and then it's my best favorite thing ever. It is my Gucci Marmont bag in the purple, it's actually called Rubin by the way, Velvet. Oh my gosh, love this bag. I never in a million years thought I would have such a love for a purple bag. I feel like it's not even picking up like the true color. This is a vibrant purple bag. I love it. It's just so gorgeous. Didn't really think I had a thing for velvet. I'm still not even sure I do have a thing for velvet. Purple is so not my color. Like if you look at my wardrobe, purple is the last item that I'm probably ever going to want to buy, but you put it all together in a handbag and it just works. So now I kind of have my eye on like a bright teal one. I don't know what it is. I just, I really like it. I feel like I have nothing else super profound to say about it, but. Never thought I'd buy it, but I did. Never thought I'd buy these Chloe Susanna boots either. And for several reasons, actually. Um, I don't think I've ever really told you guys this. So first of all, let's just get the elephant out. These are, these are expensive, okay? That's the number one reason I never thought I would buy them. I was like, holy crap. I'm never spending that much money on a freaking pair of shoes that you just walk around in the dirt. Like it's, it's, it is, it's crazy. It's weird. Okay. I, I understand. However, I have gotten so much use out of them, like so much use and they're beautiful. They are just, they're handmade. They're just, they're stunning. I get so many compliments everywhere I go. I actually, the very first time I ever saw them, I'm pretty sure it was on Christina Brawley. So shout out to her. Um, she wore them and that, I think I had seen them other places, but like that's when it like clicked in my head, like, oh my gosh, I like those boots. If you are on the fence about them, definitely get them. They run true to size, by the way. I get asked that question a lot. I wear them in the summer, I wear them in the winter, fall, spring, pretty much all, all year round. It's just a great buy. It's an expensive buy. It's probably not a great buy. I don't regret it, even though I never thought I would buy it. The final thing that I never thought I would ever buy or actually have at all, and, and this is one of those things that I, I think you guys might know what I'm gonna say, um, but it's my Cartier jewelry. So I do have, I mean, it's not, I'm not like stacked, but I do have a love bracelet. I've got two love rings and then I've got this Just Un Clou, which is just a nail ring. Love it, I love it all. I wanted it for years and years and years. There's such an amazing meaning, at least in my eyes, um, about this bracelet. I I remember Josh and I were actually in the Bahamas and we were kind of going through the different jewelry stores and like, it just, oh my gosh, I just loved the love bracelet for so long. And I remember getting on the plane to come home thinking like, if just one day I can have that love bracelet and we, I ended up getting it, obviously. I have a whole video all about it if you wanna like know the whole story, but I ended up getting the rings after I had some babies. And then I actually bought this for myself, kind of just as like a good job, Shay, you're doing a great job. Never thought I would get it because it is a, you know, it's pretty expensive, but I would say, and I've said this many a times before, so I'm so sorry if I'm repeating myself, out of everything that I have, this is the most important to me. I use it every single day. I love it every single day. I enjoy it every single day. I look down as I'm typing on my little computer at work and I enjoy it you know it's just it's just it's been the best out of everything so I would say if you want to buy something really expensive just make sure it's something that you can love and appreciate every single day and for me that is my Cartier jewelry that does it for this video I would love to tag some other ladies but I feel like I feel like everyone's done this video I'm not sure Lux mommy has um, so I'll tag her Hey June, I don't know if she's done, I don't know. Christina Brawley, I don't know. If you haven't done this video, I tag you guys to do it. I think it's a really great one. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. If subscribe, if you haven't already, if you are like me and you like this little luxury community thing going on and, and you haven't subscribed, I would love to have you back. Um, but yeah, I think that's about it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye. Do you guys hear that? It's like super loud. I'm matching. I look like it's spring. And you know what's bothering me? 
There we go. It's not spring, it's it's winter. This, it's November. I need better decor. This decor, this is OG Shea Whitney too, okay? This has been with me. These plants never die. This is, this is, this is a good investment, okay? <laughs>